And now we must speak of Zhuang Zhu, who fell asleep one day and dreamed he was a butterfly. For hours he fluttered in the warm winter sun, until he no longer remembered he was Zhuang Zhu. Suddenly he awoke, and he was Zhuang Zhu again. But in that moment he didn't know. Was he Zhuang Zhu who had dreamt he was a butterfly? Or a butterfly who was dreaming he was Zhuang Zhu? A delusion starts, like any other idea, as an egg, identical on the outside, perfectly formed. From the shell, you'd never know anything was wrong. It's what's inside that matters. Albert A. had an idea. One day, as he was walking, he stumbled. And for a moment, it seemed that his right leg didn't belong to him. This is how it begins. The leg was clearly Albert's. It was attached to his body, and when he pricked it, he felt pain. But despite that, the idea grew. Such is the power of an idea. With every day that passed, Albert became more and more certain that this was not his leg. He decided he didn't want it anymore. And so one day, he went to the hardware store. You see, an idea alone isn't enough. We have ideas all the time, random thoughts and theories. Most die before they can grow. For a delusion to thrive, other more rational ideas must be rejected, destroyed. Only then can the delusion blossom. full-blown psychosis.